Right, folks, so, now that we've achieved this, we can go back to Ultimecia's Palace and attempt, <laughs> and I say attempt quite loosely, to figure out what the hell we're meant to do. Because I think there's only a couple of bosses left. There might not be that many left, in fact. Depending on his abilities will depend on if we kill any more. And also depend whether or not we, we just go straight for Ultimecia. Because as much as I've really enjoyed this project, and I have, it's time I, I finished it. Because there's a lot of people that want closure with it, and I appreciate that. And I did have aspirations to do other things with it, but it's it's ran pretty long, and I'm super busy with other stuff. And because this is on the PS3 and it's live, it's awkward to set up. And I'm hoping to upgrade my my HD PVR to like an Elgato game capture or something, regardless of brand, something that's HDMI. Because messing with the cables at the back of my TV is is the least fun thing in the world. It's, it's literally up there with torture. Because it's really warm at the moment, there's a ton of cables, it's really dark and dank and full of dust and ugh, it's just not cool. And I have a lot of cables, I have like five consoles back there and a shit ton of electronics. And I don't have those, you know, those crazy wraps that put all the cables together in a, a really decent fashion. I didn't mean to get out then, I just forgot how to drive. So where was that portal thing? Wasn't it over... The draw distance was slightly better. I'd be able to see. There we go. <whistles> Love that lilt. Park! Dickhead! What? No? Goddamn Sunday drivers. Come on. I also need to remember to take in count. Look at this. Fucking PS1. <laughs> oh, games have got better, but in some ways they've got worse. They're more accessible, they play better. But yeah, I think a lot of the creativity just isn't there. Like this music! God! This is one for Sofreg, this brother. He needs to cover this. Oh, there we go. It's a special crazy levitating tomb portal. There goes the clap beaty. Yeah! Well, to miss you, motherfucker. I'm gonna have to save because if I die or something ridiculous, I'm all the way back in the ship. I don't know. I'm all the way back here before the ship. Good idea. So I believe when we enter this place, it's going to tell me exactly what I've unlocked and exactly what I haven't unlocked, which will then enable me to figure out how much I've done. And maybe not. Fuck. Well, let's have a look. In the menu should help. I do not have GF abilities or item or save which means we need to kill some stuff because we need items because that's the whole point of what we just did so where have we been uh, I know we did the painting I know we did the eye the red iron giant fella this guy's obviously dead do we do tripoint? point that bird across the banister mm. does this gonna fall when I stand on it or yeah it's gonna fall Can we walk down? Fuck it, let's fall. Ultra... Omega weapon is optional. So impatient. I want to skip this like it's a cutscene. <laughs> let's have a look if we've been down here. It's one of the things we modern gaming as well. Because everything is faster, the load times are faster, there's the ability to skip a lot more of the, the buffering. We've become so impatient. Oh, we haven't killed this fella. Ah, that is Tripoint, I think. Hey, dude. Face my wrath for seeking thy sealed power. Dot, 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 ellipsis. Okay, so this guy does something, but I don't think we're going to... 
have much time to grasp the full weight of whatever that is, because uh, Renzo Kuken in this place, all powerful. There you go. He tells you what he's going to do. That's it. Whatever I don't use, I don't like. Oh, fuck. There we go. Go to draw. Ooh, that's all that. What? What am I doing? What did I do? What's happening? <laughs> what are you doing? You wank it. Here we go. Stop scanning me, you date raper! Blasting zone. But we magically teleport into outer space. So when this playthrough ends, anyhow, I'm going to look into doing another one. Another live playthrough, that is. Because I like the diversity to it. And I like the fact that it sounds nothing like my other commentaries. Is he still going? No. Oh, sad face. But somebody pointed out something that... The... The no level run is in fact easier than the standard runs because the scaling of the enemies and in a lot of ways it's true but I think the limitations on keeping yourself low level make it more challenging uh, on the play because I've never really thought Final Fantasy VIII was particularly challenging. I appreciate that this is because of the, the junctioning system and once you grasp it the game really suffers from that point onwards difficulty wise but even without competent junctioning, I don't think this will ever be the most difficult Final Fantasy. Compared to the old ones, which were insane, the new ones are very tame. What is that? I can't remember. We want that, though. Commandability. I can't remember. I, I mean, I assume it's the ability to refine and shit, use GF abilities, but... Does that affect anything except for outside of battle? Because if not, we could go for Ultimecia now. If I can remember where the bitch is, can go do it one more time? Ultimecia uses gravity, and I'm kind of scared of Griever too, because Griever doesn't move. <laughs> I believe it's called the Grand Cross, which is a nice homage to Final Fantasy. Grand Crosses are always pretty dangerous. Necron is fantastic for teaching you that. And the speedrun for Necron is interesting because I didn't realise he worked the way he does work and there's a fantastic loop you can do for him. Them speedrunners are insane how they figure out some of the stuff they do. It's, it's a level of dedication that I think supersedes a lot of other like interdisciplinary meta games of games. It's crazy. Does this lead outside? This leads to the cathedral where the boss guy is. Uh, upstairs leads to those other dudes. I can't remember. Um, we've, We definitely killed that mummy guy who starts off as like a chin or a face, the visage, and then he turns into the gargantuan dude. Because I remember doing that. That's Omega, so ultimately pointless at this point. So Omega is essentially a race fight. He's level 100 regardless of what level you are, so he's one of the most challenging fights you can do. Let's just go for Ultimecia. There is a very large percentage of chance that Griever is going to kill us. Because of my junctioning. But who knows, maybe he won't. And it's that thing of, as it stands, I've got a decent amount of magic for Squall. But the double-sided sword of this is Squall's going to be in critical for most of that fight. In fact, to get around this fear of Griever killing me, it might be time to start pulling out Aura. 
have him at full life, but start using the auras, because when else am I going to use him? This is the end of the game. We definitely killed Tiamat. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to put an emphasis on vitality and spirit rather than strength for the characters who aren't really going to be hitting. Squall and Zell are going to be my damage dealers, mainly Squall because he's probably more powerful at this point. One key note is I do not have Lionheart, and Lionheart is a very easy way of, of killing Ultimecia. But I think we should be okay. This is it. Very long path, this one. <laughs> like, when's it going to transition? My goodness. I do like the parallaxing clouds. We can't save. Because I haven't unlocked it, have I? No, we can't. So the thing that sucks about this, this fight coming up is... It picks your characters at random, and I've never liked that. We only have two Phoenix Downs. <laughs> that might have been a bit of an oversight. But with these, we shouldn't need it. So let's have a quick look what we've got. zella has got decent strength. What's his abilities? Can we put anything more into that? Lots of life, lots of strength. That's fine. We want, instead of card, we want item. Uh, now let's leave it in just in case. His spirit and his vitality are lower than I'd like. They're lower than I could get. But it's okay. Because if we keep him high on life, we should be okay. Like Stuff like this. It's one of those moments where if, if you invest the time, you can change the abilities that your GFs have, you can change the abilities that they learn, you can mid-max them all so that you've got all the best abilities from them, and you can essentially make your team unkillable. But where's the fun in that on something that's live? If this wasn't live, I'd probably have a much stronger iteration of these characters. But then there'd be no risk. This way, there's some trepidation going into the fight. Like... Quistis has got good spirit defense, it's just everything else is so rough, but spirit is what we need, because Ultimecia is predominantly magic. Um, that's speed. Speed plus 40 if you're going to have speed. I like some speed. Just in case we need a healer, speed's a good idea. I wish that was HP 60 or HP 80, and it's easy to do, but I didn't do it. Oh, wrong one. So did Zell definitely have... Yeah. Like, Zell could do with more ability spaces. We need spirit. Oh, look. I've never really known what look does, but I feel like it... Could be awesome. Strength plus 60. Definitely have item on him. Definitely have item on her. About as good as it's going to get. So, without further ado, waste the abundance of those we have. Right. So, he has aura on the very first slot. She needs it too, if she has it. I don't think she has it. Okay. Not to worry, we can always exchange some. Has Zell got it? Aura. 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 
aura, 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 no. So we need to exchange some. Can I give them a, a percentage of it? There we go. We'll say five. I don't really think she should need any more. Right. Give him five. And then we need to rearrange... That at the top. Because we're not going to be using any other magics, really. I mean, we might use Meltdown, but even then... I can't remember if she's vulnerable to it. And the only reason I'm doing this is to save time. In the fight, because the worst thing in the world in these games is dying when you're trying to get to an ability. And I think there's an option where you can set it to wait or active in the configurations. Yeah, and I have it to wait, but there are certain enemies, especially depending on your battle speed, which you'll notice I turned my battle speed down for a certain amount of fights. I don't know if it affects this one, I really don't, but I'm going to keep it up because this is the end. So we'll we'll have it as, as fast as it is, and we'll see if it affects us. Oh, let's kill her. Oh, try. Here she is. The crazy, lavish throne that nobody gets to see because the future is a dead planet. Seed. All over my face. Seed, seed, seed. An ocean of liquid silk. Seed, 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 seed. It's like Bukaki gone mad. Curse all the seeds spent wrong. Oh, I forgot about that. She's dumb as fuck. Swarming like locusts across generations. You disgust me. The sword was on the brink of that. What? She can spell. Elusive, but she can't spell. <laughs> Compression, what the fuck? See, she can spell insolent. But she's got a problem with C's, it would seem. Your vain crusade and CDs. The price for your meddling is death beyond death. I shall send you to a dimension beyond your imagining. The Mormon vision of heaven. There will be nothing but terrible music. All the time. There I will reign and you will be my slaves for eternity. This music's awesome. In fact, the music on every phase of this fight continues to just get better. Whom shall I exterminate first? Hmm. I will start with you three. And we get to fight. Oh, you look at her. She's even got a wapper's hat. Uh oh. <laughs> I love it. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to speed this up a little bit by smacking our own people. Uh oh. I thought I did that with the wrong person. Here we go. Go away! Because we don't need them, and we don't really. Oh no! <laughs> I think I just hit myself. God damn, Final Fantasy VIII, it's stupid auto-select. Why would you ever pick yourself first? I could kill myself here if I'm not careful. Oof. Terrifying. This is going terribly. <laughs> oh. It's fun, though. I'm very tempted to get this on PC, because there's a mod that increases the difficulty, and I'd be really interested to test that. Because I like it when people have the knowledge and the time to, to put that much effort into something they enjoy. Ah, that's good news. Zell's come to save the day. Alright. What the fuck? Uh-oh. Why are my Megalixes not arranged? 
Oh, I didn't do battle. Shit. I did it for the menu. I didn't do it for the battle menu. That's a mistake. Oh, hey, well. I'm sure we'll survive. Right. I assumed it would not aim for him. I assumed wrong. Right. At least Aura's gonna work. Is this Quake? Zell should absorb this. Because he had it on his defense. There we go. Oh, she's multicasting it. I would love to be part of a, of a JRPG dev team where they were making an old school RPG like this. Uh oh. Uh oh. Thank, don't hit him back. And I'd like to make the combat a little bit more interactive. I want to keep it turn based. I want to keep it turn based, tactical, and deep. But I'd like there to be the ability for the player to have a direct effect on the battle more than just the RNG to get rid of some of the bullshit and make it more skillful. And I think that South Park The Stick of Truth, as, as simple as that game was, did a really good job of that. And obviously before it there were games like Lost Odyssey and Legend of Dragoon that, that incorporated these simple mechanics that allowed you to perform better in combat. And I really love those, and not enough games do them. Like this, I love this bit. It's simple, but it makes me feel like I'm doing something. Is she summoning Griever? The most powerful GF. You shall suffer. I have COPD. Cannot talk for longer than scattered sentences. So here is Griever, and. This is a part I've never really understood. I've never really looked too much into it, so it's my own fault, really. But I assume this is a legendary GF, and thus, because of legend, they're not too sure if it exists or if it's just fantasy. And... Um, this is quite difficult to... Oh, look. Fucking aura. Thank God for the waiting. So I'm going to be wasting Megalixis here to keep our... Oh, I forgot about that bullshit. And he blows your abilities away. This guy needs to go down quick. And when he does, you need to make sure that you've got some, some life in the meantime. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is it. This is the moment of truth. Please, Zell, do not die. Allow me to show you my epic penis. Shockwave Pulsar. It's not Grand Cross. It's Shockwave Pulsar. How did I forget that? Now these are the moments you live for in Final Fantasies when you're a kid because you know the boss has a super move and you know when you see this kind of animation happening that you're about to get fucked really hard and this is it. This is that moment. Great music, great visuals, am I alive? Yes. And now he's in trouble and now I believe Ultimisia Junction's Griever to herself. So we actually survived that really well. I'm surprised. Poor Griever. I couldn't finish my tangent on you because everything's happening so fast, but... Squall has him on his sword. He has, obviously, this kind of... Oh, this music. Maybe I am a lion. God. So good. This is that moment. I think this is kind of the coming of age moment for, for Squall. It's the moment when he realises just how capable he is. Because Griever to him, or I always thought, was this idol, this this proud lion-esque GF that beat everything, and you just we just obviously beat him. So now there's that level of self-belief and that moment where we have to win, because if we don't, it's the end of time itself. So. She's probably overlooking quite a lot of things and maybe looking far too deeply into other things, but it's pretty fun. Wait, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, there we go. Now it's time to beat on this motherfucker so we can get the final form of Ultimisia. Oh, I used analog. I didn't mean to. Wobbly. So this music right now, this particular part reminds me. This that bit there is full on in the final fight with, with Necron on Final Fantasy IX. It's that thematic uh, crossover that Nobuo Uematsu loves to do. 
but this part has got a little bit of Red 13 in it, a little bit of, of the older Final Fantasies. It's, it's a culmination of a lot of them. It's also that kind of native, awesome, tribal you know, rite of passage. And unfortunately, I'm making this look ridiculous. <laughs> Oh, Renzo Kukin's so overpowered. Like this bit there that you were just hearing before she died is very, like, Final Fantasy VII-ish. Because that has got some of those kind of staccato rhythms, those little gallopy awesome moments. And this is when it gets a little bit dangerous again. Rago! I died without ever truly tasting Rago! And as shit as this looks, I think it's an, a fantastic effect for the time. The kind of deconstructing into the shards of. really reflective looking colourful glass. It's almost spectral. And this is it. This game is beautiful. The pre-rendered stuff ages so much better than the, the fully 3D stuff. And it's obvious why. This is it. Have we won? Have we not won? What's happening now? And then Mother Superior turns up. I don't know if I've mentioned the spoiler alert to you guys, because I'm telling you exactly what's happening. But if you're watching this and you've not played this game, shame on you. <laughs> <laughs> 